All right, welcome to this video. For apparently no reason, I was organizing my products and throwing things out, recycling, 2 gigabyte DDR3. I always wondered about those little programmable chips on them. So I decided to see if I can program this guy. I had a quick online look at the chip ID. Uh, so this one is 4G02. Yep. So I had a look online and came to a forum and it said it's this chip. It's an EEP ROM I2C bus, two wire, two kilobit serial EEP ROM. I'm going to try and read it. So I just made some notes about it from the data sheet. And we got a pinout. And I don't know one of it's probably one of this, this or that. Yeah. And I'm going to use this guy. So we're going to take the chip out. I thought about wiring onto it. Single wire is too messy. I'm going to take. Oh, yes, coming. No worries. All right, so um, yeah, I decided to program this chip, um, and let's see what we find out. So we do know the pin layout, and we got this guy which we can use and put it into our SVOD programmer. I was going to use this to run jumper wire and all that. Really painful. Okay, so let's give it a go. There's no need to hold on to this chip but just being able to program for the fun of it why not see what's inside it's got Samsung chips uh, memory chips Wow, that actually fits there nicely. Yeah, the tip got screwed up. Actually, we don't need to use that one, we'll use this one. Okay, that's it. All right. So pin number four is ground. Which is going to be yeah, there. So that's pin number four. 
Let's go get SVOD programmer. Okay. Yeah, our connections are pretty much the same. Oh, I see. What are these? Two kilobytes. I think that one is two kilobytes. No way. <laughs> That's so cool. Wow. You actually can read it. See the label, this RAM chip. Um, oh, yeah. A, look, look at that, A302, A302, G, C, D, B, 04, A302, C, B, 4, D, 0, B, correct. Yeah, 76, yeah, part number, 76, correct. This came out of an Acer laptop. Cool. That's really cool. AD. Okay, let me just Google that. What do I get? There we go. For office workers, <laughs> two megabyte, two gigabyte of memory capacity is enough. <laughs> Aye, good old days, okay. Mm. Ooh. Well, it's something cool, yeah? Now we can modify that. It's a hex viewer. Save. RAM chip. And hex the editor. Yeah, that's the hex. We can just overwrite here. Say, hmm, IXI. We can put anything we want here. Sure can do. And, and the chip will only look for this stuff, and that's it. And. It's 
one kilobyte, so that is only a 256 bytes. Mm. If I was to make that change and save, Yeah, size did not change. See, that's 256 bytes. 256, 255 bytes. Okay, let's fix that up. Okay. Yeah, 256 bytes, yeah. So now this can be written back, I guess. Open. Sure can do. All the right? I have no idea. Yeah, it did write. Let me now read. Sure can do. <laughs> this is really cool. Oh, wow, okay. Something to learn. I think the... I think this means... Config like the size of the chip. What if I change it to 256? Select, read. Uh, it keeps rereading the same thing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. Probably I made a mistake, I only read a little bit, maybe there's more. So kind of uh, screw this chip up. Yeah. Maybe there's more information there. All right, time is up. You get the idea. Um, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.